Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Another useful feature of creating measures in the data model in PowerPivot is the ability to then extend these fields to create KPIs, or key performance indicators, in the data model. A KPI is a value, and often associated symbol, used to gauge the performance of a base field in attaining a set value. Therefore, you must have three elements before creating a KPI within a data model. First, you must have a base value. The base value is a measure to evaluate. Often, this is a simple aggregate function over a field that is explicitly defined within the calculation area of the data model for the sole purpose of establishing a base value within a KPI. Second, you must have a target value. This can either be another measure within the calculation area, or it can simply be an absolute value you enter when you create the KPI. Third, you must define the status threshold within the KPI. This is the range between a low and high threshold that determines how well the base value performed in attaining the target value. This is often displayed as a graphic within a pivot table that shows the performance. For example, if you had departmental budget information in a table that had a field for actual expenses and budgeted expenses, you could create a KPI for the data based on these fields. In this case, you could define two measures in the calculation area of the table that were simple auto sum values over the two columns. In this case, the equal sum open parenthesis open bracket actual expenses close bracket close parenthesis measure would be the base value, which is then compared to the equal sum open parenthesis open bracket budgeted expenses close bracket close parenthesis measure, which is the targeted value. You could then set the status threshold of the KPI to 100%, meaning the goal is to spend 100% of the budgeted amount. To create a KPI after creating the necessary measure or measures, select the measure that is the base value field for the KPI within the calculation area. Then click the Create KPI button in the Calculations button group on the Home tab of the ribbon in the Data Model window. In the Key Performance Indicator KPI dialog box that appears, the selected field appears at the top of the dialog box in the KPI Base Field Value field. Next, in the Define Target Value section, select the desired option button for your KPI target value, Measure or Absolute Value. If you select the Measure Choice, select the name of the Target Value field you created from the adjacent drop-down menu. If you select Absolute Value, enter the desired value into the adjacent field. Below that, in the Define Status Threshold section, drag the percentage sliders into the desired locations. Then select a desired icon to represent these threshold values from the listing shown in the Select Icon Style section. When you are ready to create your KPI, click the OK button to finish. The KPI indicator appears as another type of field you can insert into the quadrants within the associated pivot table. You can insert the value, the goal, or the status of the KPI into the values quadrant within the pivot table fields task pane. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.